Hey guys, and I'm the Lakers, and he's the freaking Cavs. See ya. Peace, boys. Offensively, looking for and finding the gaps in the defense, and also terrific shot selection. Greg, that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about being efficient. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful jam. And guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. Special thanks to Kia for that sweet Kia slam cam replay. Here's Teague at balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. And the Cavaliers lead by two. The Lakers shooting well, 50% from the floor. The try by Gordon. And yes, sir, that one drops. <laughs> wow, risky shot there, size-wise. But the incredible skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Well, the quick high release negated any height disadvantage he had right there. Laverne, he's checked in for Cleveland. For Cleveland, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Here's Teague, and foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Leslie Matthews picks one up. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. And he sinks the second. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Well, most coaches will tell you, you need scoring in the paint to be successful. Here are some big men around the league that have been providing plenty of that over the last month. Fourth, Blake Griffin. You know, there are different styles among those big men, but they have one thing very much in common. They can dominate offensively. Face up or back to the basket, they can get it done. Which is what makes that such an interesting collection of players for me. So much contrast in their methods, but success all around. It goes to show how many different ways there are to get it done in the post. From outside the arc, Gobert with the block. T kicks to Johnson. Another shot, and Gobert with the lay-in. Gobert's got his third basket of the night. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And Greg, you know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Johnson kicks to Wiggins. And he bangs it home with one hand. That's he is fun. an automatic finisher when he... He gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. Yeah, and in a close game, though, guys, those could be really important points. Pass to Matthews to the right side. And the foul on Tyler Johnson. That is his first foul of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. Skull is checked in. And Cleveland also making a change. Simmons is checked in. That's a two from Matthews. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Matthews has got ten. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Johnson, the pass to Gobert. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that one. Doesn't he make the basics look pretty exceptional? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does them. And, and he better stay <laughs> with those basics, because this game is still yet to be determined. It's tipped. It's stolen by Adams. Shoots from 12. And no good, trying to use the glass. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. Just like soup. <laughs> a little more ferocious, though. Okay, Clark approves, everybody. <laughs> yeah, but that's how you finish strong. The young fella's wearing the rim out. Matthews, no good. That's what we call good defense in the paint. Worth its weight in gold. It absolutely is, and maybe even more than that. I mean, you saw it right there. Without his presence, that's an easy basket. Holiday attacking. 
There's the triple. Offensive rebound. Second chance shot. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Lakers shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Not really where you'd like to be as a team in terms of free throw shooting. Just about 73%. And, and, guys, you know what? That's made things hard for them in a lot of their games. I mean, that inability to convert their chances at the free throw line. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Newman's checked in for Adams. Crawford Jeez. comes in for Wesley Matthews. And Cheeks is subbed in for Drew Holiday. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. And Simmons kicks to Laverne. And that one's good. Laverne's got his second bucket of the night. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Looney's checked in for Laverne. Crawford, no one around him. It's good from long range. Crawford's got five. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. To the left side wing. Here's Simmons. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Let's quickly take a look at the standings out west. The season nearly complete. Taking a look at Cleveland. They're in seventh and looking to hold on to that seed for the playoffs. And, of course, the Lakers. Not really any threat right now as their record showing a lot more losses. And seeing where the Cavaliers are hanging where they are, right in the middle of the standings, will not make things easy for them down the stretch. Well, it figures to be a hectic finish to the season as they attempt to lock down a postseason berth. They've got very little margin for error the rest of the way. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Boy, their passing has been picturesque. A thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. Yeah, but also give them credit for the layups they've had tonight after strong drives to the basket. Gobert, he's checked in for Looney. They're locked in from the charity stripe this half. Not a miss yet. And, and trying to cut into this lead, they need every edge they can get. Offensive rebound. Feeds it to Gobert. Kicks it out to Johnson. Launches it. Can't hit. And the Lakers take it the other way. They'll be playing host to Miami for the next game. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. How about that? Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yes, indeed. Timeout called the Lakers. You know, I think he just wants to tinker with the game plan a, a little bit. There. I think that's a wise timeout. And part of it, too, Greg, was he saw some things going on out there that he didn't care for. Griffin's checked in for the Lakers. Pierce comes in for Chiefs. One oh nine left in the third quarter of the game. Lakers trail by five. Outside Gordon. Here's Newman. And he converts the lead. Just not enough bodies on the glass right there. And they paid for it. Well, Greg, I know you're a little guy, but you know what it means to box out. And it's an effort thing and a mindset deal. You've got to get your body between that other player and the ball. Pass to Valentine. Pulls up. They get it back. And that one is stuffed right through. That gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and ten rebounds. And, and Kevin, plays like that are really the reason they've got a nice lead right now. Just a great job on the glass. And Greg, the jam and the follow gets their whole bench jumping. <laughs> Clark, look at them. They are really into it. Yeah, they sure are. That's a little salt in the wound there. I mean, they take a miss and turn it into one of the plays of the game. That hurts. LA's going to less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Gordon dishes to Pierce. For the tie. Off the left rim and out. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. And that 
is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. You're exactly right. I mean, so often when a team gets that kind of explosive play out of its backcourt, that can really rally and galvanize the whole squad. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Cavaliers lead by four. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. Cleveland leading by four on the court for Cleveland. They've got Laverne. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Mooney. Then there's Teague, and it's Simmons in at the two spot. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting here about 46% for the game. Laverne grabs the miss. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. And, you know, that lead's only going to grow if they're not prepared to defend a little more staunchly than that. And really, at this stage of the game, to get those kinds of offensive rebounds for putbacks, you almost feel like it's a four-point swing. Here's Simmons. A three-pointer off the mark. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, you hope that's not indicative of the type of D they're going to play because if they do, they're going to have struggles with him tonight. Here's Looney, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Nice pass. He got the ball right into his teammate's shooting pocket, on time and on target. Teague against Holliday. Got that one up quick. And the Cavaliers call time here. They've been very untidy with the ball here. You commit turnovers when you try to do too much or you force it. They need to focus on making the simple play, good passes, and moving the ball around. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. I got a chance to hear what the Cavaliers head coach was saying to his team. He was absolutely adamant, saying, don't let them off the hook. Let's keep our foot on the pedal and keep doing the things that have gotten us here this far. We're almost home. Cheeks checked in for the Lakers. Teague, the pass to Simmons. And that comes off the assist by Jeff Teague. Simmons, Simmons got the lead up to seven now for the Cavs. And he has started to turn it on now after that slow start. Holiday with it. Picked up by Teague. Pass to Cheeks. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. To the inside. A nice shot by Teague. And it's a nine-point Cavalier lead. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. But they recover it. And Cleveland gets called for the foul. Stolen away. I don't like that decision there on the entry pass. Not with the defender right there ready to pick it off. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Holiday inside the line. Los Angeles with another miss. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around. Straight bully ball. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find something. You're right. The Cavaliers leading by 11. T kicks to Laverne. Looney passes to Oubre. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed 
have come from very close range. Yeah, high percentage shots are what they are getting in terms of the attempts, and that's just not going to get it done. They've got to figure it out. Timeout called the Lakers. Clearly, he's not pleased with all the looks they've given up on the inside and also to get them to tighten up that defense. Yeah, and I think he's going to let them know about